Hello everyone and welcome to another midweek video message update. As always, I trust this inquiry finds you safe, healthy, and well. As you can tell, I'm standing here for this video or at the front of our indoor worship space here at Christ Lutheran Church, Sterling Heights, Michigan. Continue to get many questions, phone calls and emails and in-person conversations, particularly on Sunday after our outdoor worship. Pastor, when are we going to return to indoor worship? And the first thing I want you to know is that we're getting a lot closer with the efficacy of our vaccines and new guidelines issued by the CDC and a number of other factors, the time that we are able to return as an in-person and indoor worshiping community is certainly getting closer. And I want you to let you know that our Board of Worship and our Church Council continues to have the conversation. And we're making specific plans that when we do, we can do so in a very safe and healthy way. But I'm also recording this video message indoors for another reason, what I consider a bigger reason, a more important reason. Now let me actually get out of the way <clears throat> and let me give you this perspective. This is the perspective that I would have on a Sunday morning leading worship, standing behind the altar and looking out into the worship space. And I'm wondering what you see right now. I'm wondering if you see an empty worship space. I want to let you know what I see. I do not see an empty worship space. What I see is God's holy people recognized and identified as Christ Lutheran Church, Sterling Heights, Michigan. I recognize a corporate holy people out in the world, engaged in ministry outside of this room, outside of these doors. It's precisely what the prophet Isaiah was saying to God's people, or what God was saying to God's people through the prophet Isaiah as it's recorded in his 58th chapter. God says, Announce to my people their rebellion to the house of Jacob their sins, yet day after day they seek me and delight to know my ways as if they were a nation that practiced righteousness and did not forsake the ordinance of their God. They ask of me righteous judgments. They delight to draw near to God. So God recognizes that we want good things, and that we want to draw closer to God, and we seek after God, and we seek, we seek God's ways and God's will in our daily lives. But then God continues through the prophet Isaiah. Is not the fast that I choose to loose the bonds of injustice, to undo the thongs of the yoke, to let the oppressed go free and to break every yoke? Is it not to share your bread with the hungry and bring the homeless poor into your house when you see the naked to cover them and to not hide yourself from your own kin? Then your light shall break forth like the dawn and your healing shall spring up quickly. Your vindicator shall go before you. The glory of the Lord shall be your rear guard. Then you shall call and the Lord will answer. You shall cry for help and God will say, here I am. Friends and neighbors in Christ, indeed, I look forward to the time that we are able to return to indoor worship. But let, it, let us understand always its import. For true worship is actually to be engaged with people out in the world. We aren't a church when we get together indoors. We are a church 
We are a community of faith. When we are gathered by the Spirit, called, equipped, and sent out into the world to love our neighbor. Know that you are being church today as you address the needs of others out in the world. Until next time, God bless, stay safe, be well. God loves you. I love you. See you all again soon.